plant science impacts not only our health and well-being, but our security as a nation. We really need to understand, at a molecular level, how plants adapt to new environments, how they grow, how they prosper, particularly in the face of climate change, which is clearly occurring. And so understanding this process at a molecular level will teach us a lot about how we can improve crop yields to feed a growing population and also potentially supply us with new fuels that we can use to power the, the heavy duty industries that we have around the globe. This study began at a very basic level, trying to understand how the process of evolution results in these things that are so vital in all organisms known as enzymes. And in the process, we've discovered something very basic about the process of evolution and how enzymes emerge. But we've also now discovered a new set of components that are critical for how plants make fatty acids. So knowing this, we're now able to go in and begin to manipulate the oil content and quality of a variety of plant species and potentially even things like algae which currently are being used as a potential source of biofuels and basically a biofuel are these oils that we're talking about. As we face this exponentially growing global population and the demand for food and food security as well as fuels, there's an increasing demand on things like plants. They're at the base of the food chain. They're also a wonderful system now where we can capture fuels and so if we can increase the yield, that is the amount of oil that are produced, for instance, in the seeds of things like Arabidopsis, and then translate that into the agricultural field where the farmer is growing their plants, in the same amount of space, we could potentially produce a much larger amount of the product that we want. So it has important ramifications for crop yield as we steadily and steadily are finding ourselves constricted in our land available for efficient growing of agricultural crops.